friends. Okay, it is Big Mama. Today is Wednesday. Um, don't pay attention to this. Honey, I've been sweating up a storm. If you don't like the weather in Alabama, wait a minute, because it's going to change. Now, I went to wellness today. I went yesterday. I went today. Honey, I broke sweat today. I mean, let me tell you. I was just sweating. And they're like, Miss Rotten, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I'm just pouring sweat. You are red. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Come here and let's check your oxygen. <laughs> and I was fine. I mean, to me, I felt like I was breathing hard. Um, my pulse, my heartbeat got up to where I was like aerobic activity. I'd never hit that milestone before, but I hit it today. Um, and then after class, after my part was over with, I went and asked the little girl, I said, can I just step on the scale on my way out? Yes, Miss Roten, you sure can. 231. I am trying so hard to get under 230. My goal I was, I felt like I was fat and bad when I weighed 170. And then I got up to 278. And let me tell you, once you kind of get used to holding all that weight, like, hmm, okay. Uh, so it's got to get going. Technically, now don't ever go by that BMI chart. They want to starve you slap to death. According to the BMI chart, for my height, I'm supposed to weigh anywhere from 104. Baby, I ain't never seen 104. I swear to Jesus, I came out more than that. But 104 to 135. I was going to say, I can't tell you the last time I was 135. Yes, I can. I actually got down to 125, I want to say, when me and that man were dating, and I was taking aerobic classes, and I was doing everything I could to make the package look where you'd want to buy. Not try and buy, but buy and then try. <laughs> Don't ever, young ladies, if there are any young ladies watching, do not ever try and then buy. No, no. You ever let them try? They might leave. They ain't going to buy. Why well, buy the milk and you can get the cow for free, right? Anywho, all that being said, I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, I got down to 125, but I was, I was anorexic at that time. I, TMI, TMI disclosure, um, but yeah, yeah. And then I decided I liked food too much. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Anywho, I had to stop at the store. There's a store like right there at Wellness. It's like right around the corner. I didn't even get out of the Wellness parking lot before I made a little turn. I didn't even have to get in the road. Made a little turn, and there was the grocery store parking lot. So, and it's a good grocery store. Uh-oh, I'm out of battery. I'm out of battery. <sighs> Hold on. Okay, I went and got me an extension cord. Um, I might have to move it, though. Anywho, um, I went in just for milk. That's the only thing I really needed, milk. <sighs> Let's breathe. So, I got milk. In fact, I meant to look at my receipt. Hold on, we're gonna let y'all look that way. Or, y'all can look that way and see down with Jane. Y'all, I'm still in love. All right, um, the milk, food club milk, a gallon, um, 417. Now I know it would have been cheaper at somewhere else, but I was there, it was closed, I didn't have to waste gas, so boom, there you go. They had their post cereals on sale again. Um, about a month ago when I went, they had the same sale going. 
these. We'd never tried these before, y'all. There's not much in the box. I mean, by the time me, Fat Man, and Care Beth had had a bowl, it was empty. But it is so good. I looked and looked and looked for the blueberry one, but they did not have them. So I got the Grey Grains Cranberry Almond Crunch. And I got Honey Bunches of Oats, Honey Roasted. Um, I got two boxes of tea bags. Um, these were like $1.21. So I got that. Um, these were on sale. I saw these near the dairy counter when I was getting my milk and stuff. These were on sale for 99 cents. I don't know how much they originally are. Um, had no clue. I got three of them. They're dated 1 Mar uh, 10 March 23. 10 March 23. So, we are going to Brian's the 18th of February, and everybody's just bringing finger foods. So I think I'm going to take one of these and um, use, you know, for our finger food. I'm going to get some big bags of chips from Sam's. And then I was going to do the little hot dogs wrapped in bacon with brown sugar and then um, something else. But I'll probably take him one just so he can have and I'll keep one for here. Um, I was not planning on getting any chicken. I was looking for chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Could not afford such. And they did not have boneless, skinless. They had chicken breast with the rib bone. Um, these were marked down from like 524 to 370. This was 556 marked down to 388. You cannot be, and it's the whole leg quarter, it's the thigh and the drumstick. These will be amazing for the grill, I'm just saying. Um, I did get, Kathy, thank you for the suggestion, girl. They had the honey smoked ham bone in in cuts. I didn't realize it had the bone in. Crap it. Anywho, I could cut or pick that out, I'm sure. I wanted those, oh yeah, there's a little bone. I wanted that, um, like, just to season my, um, I was looking to see, it was 608, I thought the sign said 419. Well, I know to pay attention next time, don't I? Alright. So that's that. Let's see if I can go around. Hold on, I'm gonna have to move my cord. Okay. And dog food was one other thing that I needed. I forgot. I did go in there for milk and dog food. Poor Doris. She's always had jacked up teeth from where the people ground her teeth down so she couldn't bite. You know, if y'all didn't know, or if you're new or hadn't heard you know, how we got Miss Doris. We got her from the Humane. And she was all scarred up. They had been using her, somebody, wherever they got her from, had been using her as a bait dog. They ground her teeth down so she couldn't bite back. And then they tied her mouth shut with um, shoelaces. That's why she would always eat fat man shoelaces out of his shoes. She don't do it much anymore, but she she will gnaw on plastic, honey. And I don't want her teeth getting worse, her back teeth. So, we talked about it and discussed it. She is getting white face, so we know she's getting older. And since we're down to just her, we are going to treat her like a queen that she is. So, we got the moist and meaty, like the little, you know, the... the pouch food. It's soft. So got her that. I did not realize it's the rise and shine bacon and egg. <laughs> so this will be a breakfast. And then I got her some jerky sticks. They're real soft. So moving on. I got the white generals. I'm going to use these as sliders. There are 32 of them. So I will use one Sunday, probably. I'm trying to think when I'm going to do the RB sliders. Probably going to do it Sunday after church, is what I'm thinking. 
I did get, look, look at, look at, somebody must be rich. No, no, we ain't rich. They had these on sale for $3.99 a dozen. I could not leave them there. The other dozens, you don't want to know. They had another brand. Oh, they had another brand. And them suckers were $7.91 a dozen. Not 18 count. A dozen. Go ahead and say eight bucks for one dozen eggs. Oh, heck no, Bobby. We got the $3.99 kind. Carol Beth was so excited. She's like, oh my gosh, eggs. <laughs> that man was going to ask me, what bank did you rob? <laughs> I got the slow roasted roast beef to go with our sliders. Um, I asked Fat Man if he wanted like the hot ham or if he wanted to try a different kind. He was like, well, you did them Arby ones one time. Do them. So we're going to make Arby sliders produce. I got some squash. It just looked good. Uh, $1.79 a pound. So I got two packs. And then I got a cabbage. It just looked good. And I figured I'm going to throw some of the ham pieces in there. So there you go. And I did get me a frozen thing. Unsweetened mixed fruit. It's got peaches, strawberries, seedless grapes. Dark sweet cherries and pineapple chunks. Yes, please and thank you. I'm gonna try to start for lunch making me smoothies, a uh, protein protein smoothie. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try. Like I said, the one I did yesterday, it was amazing. You'll see that video before you see this video. So. Let me get this stuff put away. And that was that was it for my takings from... What did I do with my receipt? Oh, here it is. Um, it used, the place used to be called Cash Bargains. It's not that anymore. It's Fresh Value. Fresh Value. And all total, I spent $75.05. Yeah, $75.05. But you figure I got meat. I got two things of chicken, a thing of ham. Um, I got dog food. I got milk and eggs. Come on now. I did get that. That's meat. Um, yeah, yeah. So I think I did pretty good. I mean, I could be wrong. But um, only bad thing about that store, it's a cost plus 10% plus your tax. So if you look, I forget about that part. So, hold on. Alright, my cost actually before tax and everything was 62. Whoa! 6201. My tax was 682. And then my cost plus 10%, 622. So that's what made it. So 12 of it, go ahead and figure $12 was taxes in the 10%. $12, $12. Come on now, people. If I would have gone like to Aldi or something, I wouldn't have been charged the 622 for like the 10%. Food outlet does it. Fresh Value does it. Um, Piggly Wiggly, if I am not mistaken, the big pig does it too. So a lot of the grocery stores do it. Um, Aldi does not. Walmart does not. But I told the lady today when I was in Fresh Value, I, it's in a janky neighborhood. I mean janky. But Everyone in there was so sweet. Now, there were a couple of people that would come right up to me, and that's when you wrap your purse, the handles of your purse around your hand, and then hold uh, the, the buggy. I wrapped it around the handle of the buggy, and then 
stuck my hand in there and wrapped it around that so they ain't grabbing my bag. You know what I'm saying? If they do, they're taking me with it. There were, I'd say about three people that did that. They came right up on me, didn't say a word, and they about bumped in. I mean, you know, one man did. He bumped into me. And I kind of gave him a little, little, like, what the crap is wrong with you? I can bump back, baby. All this. You don't want all this bumping back on you, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm like, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Even though he was the one that bumped into me. I decided not to go full-blown Karen on him. I just can't do that. But that's when you say, if you ever have anybody do that to you, Throw them for a loop. I mean, kill them with kindness. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. Uh, 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 oh, oh, okay. And then he went on. But he, he kind of followed me up and down a couple of aisles. And that just made me kind of. And so that's where you can talk to the cashier and explain to her, you know, I feel a little... I told her what had happened. And then sure enough, about the time I got through telling her, here he come. And I'm like, that's him. And she's like, would you like to be escorted to your car? And I'm like, that would be amazing. So she had one of the um, male employees walk me to my car. And that guy kind of started following. And then he finally stopped. And I, I asked the little boy escorting me and, you know, helping me to the car. He he actually loaded my groceries for, groceries for me. I'm like, you didn't have to do that. I was just didn't want to come out here by myself with him. And uh, he said, well, I'm going to watch. He said, and if, when you drive off, if he goes in after you, I'll, I'll do what I can do to, you know. I'm like, thank you. But he, once he saw that man with me, he backed up. So, praise the Lord. I might better lock on my doors. <laughs> All right, let me get this stuff put away. And I think that's going to do it for today. Tonight for supper, I'm just going to kind of tell you what we're having. I'm going to do chicken drumsticks in the air fryer, which y'all have seen that before. They just turn out so good. And I think I'm going to cook the cabbage and the um, squash. We're just going to do a good home country meal i think that's what we're gonna do it just sounds good so until next time be good be sweet don't start nothing there won't be nothing share play nice with others kill them with kindness honey i mean ooze it on to bless your heart yeah <laughs> until next time bye horns